Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss about the living world and the characteristics of living things. Before starting this topic, let's recall our previous knowledge regarding living thing and non-living thing. We see so many things in our surrounding. Some of these are living of uh, while some of these are non-living things. So whatever we see in the environment around us, either a living thing or a non-living thing. So how does one come to know that something is living or non-living thing? We said plants are living things, but plants cannot move like a dog or a pigeon. On the other hand, a bus or a car can move, but still we consider them as non-living things. So the, all living things have some common characteristics that makes them different from non-living things. You are the wonderful example of living being. You can observe all characteristics which make you different from non-living things. So this is the topic we understanding today. There are some common special characteristics of living things we are going to discuss about. First characteristics is growth. Growth is the first characteristics of all living organism. All living organism can grow. A baby grows into a child which grows into a man or woman. A little kitten grows into a cat. Small plants grow into a big tree. Animals grow for a definite period of time but there is no time limit for the growth of plant. Plants grow as long as they like. Generally human beings generally human beings required 18 to 21 years for their growth. All living organism need food for growth. Food is necessary for the growth of all living organism. Plants make their own food by the process of photosynthesis. Plants make their own food by the process of photosynthesis. With the help of sunlight and chlorophyll, plants make their food using uh, using a uh, soil and nutrients from the soil and carbon dioxide from the air. This process is called photosynthesis. All living things require food for their growth. Food gives organism the energy needed for them to grow. The second characteristics of living organism is responsiveness to stimuli and movement. All living things react in, very, in various ways for responding to a stimulus. Question is that what is a stimulus? An event that occurs in our surrounding is a stimulus and the ability of, uh, and the ability of all living things to respond to a stimuli is called responsiveness to stimuli. If you enter, if you suddenly enter a, in a cow shed, the cows and the buffaloes stand up and begin to move. If you place a plant in a window, plant grows towards the sunlight. It means that plant respond to the sunlight. Prick the skin with a pin or a needle is good example of responsiveness to stimuli. You sudden remove the hand is the example of response. It starts raining. It starts raining. Suddenly you take out your you take out an umbrella. This is the, all these are examples of responsiveness to stimuli. Other is movement. All living things can move from one place to another. Animals move from one place to another is called locomotion. Plants also show movement but they cannot change their place. But they show movement. For example, climber, climber moves towards a support. So movement is a characteristic of living things. All living things can move of their own accord. The third characteristic of living thing is respiration. All living things need oxygen in order to live. Inhaling oxygen and exhaling carbon dioxide form the body due to use of oxygen is called respiration. Respiration is the main characteristic of all living organism. All living organism require oxygen for respiration. Animals 
such as the snack, fish, have some specific organs for respiration. Plants, on the other hand, plants also respire by the means of microscopic pores on the stems and leaves. Respiration is the main characteristics of living things. The other next characteristics of living things is excretion. I have told you food is necessary for the growth of all living organism. All living things take food. All the food that is eaten is not really used. Only one part of a food is utilized by the body. So what happens of the rest? This has to be removed by the body. So the process passing out waste substances from the body is called excretion. All living things excrete waste material from their bodies. Plants also excrete in the form of vapor. Plants, stems of some plants like neem, bubble and uh, drumstick secrete gum. This is the example of waste substances that passed out by them. So, the next characteristics of living thing is reproduction. All living things reproduce another living things like themselves. So, the process by which a living thing generates a new living things like itself is called reproduction or procreation. The mode of reproduction may be different in different animals. Animals also produce their own kind. The mode of reproduction may be different in different animals. For example, a cow gives birth to a calf. Birds lay eggs from which young ones come out. A woman gives birth to a baby. Seeds, seeds are responsible for generation of a new plants. Many plants produce through seeds. Seeds become a plant and plants change into a big tree. So reproduction is the another characteristics of living things. The next characteristics of living thing is a cellular structure. You see so many buildings in your surrounding. You see so many buildings in your surrounding. The wall is made up of bricks. To construct a wall, to construct a wall, we firmly join the bricks together. In the same manner, all living things are made up of small units called cell. Cell is the fundamental structural and functional unit of all living organisms. All living organisms, in all living organisms, all actions, all life process carry out with the help of these microscopic cells. Some animals, some living organisms are made up of a single cell. These are called unicellular organism. For example, amoeba, paramecium, yeast, bacteria. On the other hand, some animals, some living organism, on the other hand, some living organism that are made up of many cells are called multicellular organism. For example, human beings, elephant, banyan tree, etc. In the last, the last characteristics of living thing is a definite life span. Dear students, in living things, after reproduction stage, their organs become weak and still later their life comes to an end. In other words, living things die. All the animals and uh, plants have a different, different lifespan. For example, the lifespan of the dog is 12 to 18 years. And there is limited lifespan of plants. Life is beautiful. Life is unique. Enjoy it. Shrimad Bhagavad Gita may be Sri Krishna ji ne yehi gyan diya hai ke jiska jan hua hai so in the end of this video, I want to tell you life is unique, life is beautiful, enjoy it, live happily, keep smiling. Thank you for watching this video. Thank you.